Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Jaguars and the Bucks coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kick off in what should be an epic one here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Jacksonville Jaguars, taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Uh, Charles, I don't think too many folks around the NFL saw this one coming. This is a Jacksonville team that's had a lot of forgettable seasons really since their arrival in the league. But now here they are making their first appearance on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, you're exactly right. They were close a few years ago, losing the AFC Championship game in New England. And early in their tenure, they got to an AFC Championship game. But you're right about the number of forgettable seasons. Here they are, one of four teams coming into this year. The Browns, the Texans, and the Lions, the other three, that had never played in a Super Bowl. They've taken care of that now, and now they want to win this one. Meanwhile, our NFC champions, they have gone through a lot to get where they are. Everybody knows their story this season. What's the key for them as they start this Super Bowl? Let's go full cliche on this one because it works. Remember what got you here. Been a winning formula all season long. This is a team that when we saw them in the preseason, we said, they look like a group that has what it takes to be a Super Bowl winning team. And we've been proven right by what we've seen throughout the season. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And they'll be led out by the first overall pick from a couple of drafts ago, former Clemson Tiger Trevor Lawrence. It certainly wasn't the rookie season we expected from Lawrence, but how about his follow up campaign? He's played Jacksonville to its first Super Bowl ever, and in the process, he's begun to grow into the franchise savior that so many expected him to be. Now ETN to start the drive. Shoves him aside, and he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Lawrence will throw. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. Lawrence to Jones for the Jacksonville first down. On first and ten, it's ETN. And hard running is going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. That's caught, it's Dan Arnold, the tight end. That one, a gain of 20, and a first down. A lot of credit to the play call here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well when you find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Back to the ground with ETN. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. 28 yards for Travis Etienne. And the Jaguars are on the board first here in the Super Bowl. And I'm sure for these guys, the break from the conference championship in the Super Bowl seems so long to get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. 
And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. I just think we thought we had seen the final chapter of Tom Brady's historic career when he retired during the offseason, but there's a voice inside of him that said, you've got unfinished business, and he certainly did. Here he is now in his 11th Super Bowl appearance. If this is going to be it for him, the Super Bowl is the only place a career like his should end. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Brady. Dumps it off to Fournette. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Brady to throw on third and one. And this is going to be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On the return, here's Agnew. set up shop here for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Brady now to throw. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. First carry for Leonard Fournette. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Brady. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. From the gun, it's Brady. He completes it to Evans. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-0 is our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Brady to throw again. He completes this to Russell Gage. And he'll get this to the 22. So they begin the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. On play action, now Brady. Rolling to his right. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Thank you. 
Throwing again on second down. Brady. And break. The tight end's got it. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Brady going to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Understandably, pass rush is keyed up for this Super Bowl, but you can't do that. And let's face it, no one wants to lose one of these quarterbacks early in this game. So you know they're going to be protected by the officials. Fournette diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Let's take it in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now out come the Jags. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 68 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. ETN will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved him until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet. But you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, with the same tempo, and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen. He got maybe a half at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Brady looking to throw on third and two. Gets it out quick. It's Gage on the slam. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down. And they keep the drive going. Oh, he can't get away. They need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Brady. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Up the gut, Fournette. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Agnew now to return. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 
21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. As the offense returns, let's take a look at running back Travis Etienne. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. We did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. On play action, Lawrence. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Ooh, touchdown! Evan Ingram, a 22 yard touchdown ground. And the Jags continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Quarterback loves the receivers, but sometimes his best friend is that tight end. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Because we always talk about the guys out wide and how acrobatic they are, but that tight end, great sight lines, easier throws, they become a bigger and bigger weapon as the NFL evolves. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Well, something like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. We're not even at halftime. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And the Jags going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. A very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Looking deep downfield. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They go play action with Lawrence. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws, has them leveling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. 
That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl from the 10. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Bucks ready to go here to begin the third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great. But perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But there's ever a chance to regroup. It's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things. And the ball is knocked out. And the Jags grab it. And he brings this one back. A fumble return. Jacksonville score. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Extra point try now for Patterson. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it, and that's what you don't want to do. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And Blake has it over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Brady. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Chad Muma. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through the pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have the nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play.
Patterson now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From the 10. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And it's a defensive end getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Brady. Here's Wright, they set up the screen. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing now is Brady. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Take this one home. It's a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception rows that kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. As confident as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Extra point try now for Patterson. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. On second down, here's Brady. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. A throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Brady now to throw. And a 
throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Fielded at the 33. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. They'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw Lawrence. That caught by Manhurts. On the move past the 40. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. They go play action now. Lawrence. There's Manhurts, the tight end. Third quarter action in Super Bowl 57. Here's a second and 10. On the move to his left. The pass complete to Ingram on the crossing route. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. Straight ahead, ETN. And power running here down to the six-yard line. 49 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. But a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, ET once more. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And they'll run with ETN. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Travis ETN with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jaguars are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it. And oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. For the Sade American came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Just one more quarter of and we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Brady's throw on target to Godwin here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. 
Here's Brady. Looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Fournette, a first down carry. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. To throw is Brady. him for a loss of seven. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's tipped, but he still makes the adjustment. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Here's Brady to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. They hand off to their big tight end. And that one going nowhere. From the start, as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Going with their tight end on four. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two yard line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Jaguars are able to come up with a goal line stand. Lawrence from his end zone. Over the middle complete. It's Arnold. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pickup there just in front of the two-minute warning. Play action. It's Lawrence. Looking for and finding Arnold once again. And they work this well up field across the 35. A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. ETN once more. 69 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. ETN up the middle. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A handoff for ETN. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Henderson will try and run for the first. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. And the Jaguars have done it. Jacksonville, the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.